Hello everyone, Donas here with Action VFX. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this spooky ghost effects in Adobe After Effects. We will learn how to create a creepy smoke effects using Action VFX collections, such as Atmospheric Smoke and Fog Volume 2 and Energy Balls. And then we will also learn how to turn our actress to look like a ghost using a combination of glow and the smoke effects that we just created. So without further ado, let's begin. So here is my main composition. To do this effects, you need to have two layers of backplates, which are the actor or actress that will be turned into ghost and the background. For this project, I used what was originally this plate from filmpack.com that I have separated into two layers, which is just the actress, which I rotoscoped using masking, and then the background that I have the actress removed. For how to do a simple object removal, you can check out my other tutorial on the subject, link on the description below. You probably noticed that the masking and the background cleanup is a little bit rough. That is because I will be covering our shot here with a bunch of effects and elements. So the details of the background and the masking aren't going to be very visible. And then lastly, I also did a simple motion track on our actress. So our elements that we add later can stick to the shot. Now that we have our plates, let's start adding the effects. So what we will do now is building a layer of smoke-like effects that will be used as the basis of our ghost effects. To do that, we are going to add a bunch of action VFX elements to cover our actress and then use that to match the transparency of our actress based on the luminance of the smoke effects. So let's drag this fog from Atmospheric Smoke and Fog Volume 2 turn it to screen, and position it to cover some part of the actress, and then mask only the area that we want. Feather the mask, and then let's pan it to the null. Great, now let's add another fog. Repeat the same process until our actress is completely covered. Okay, so this is what we have. Our actress is covered, but not completely. We see some areas that are still a bit visible, and that is what we want because we don't want our ghost transparency to be completely flat and opaque. We want a little bit of texture. Another thing that I did is I added a curve effects on one of my fog to increase the brightness a bit. Okay, so we have our smoke. It's fine, but currently it's looking a little bit too puffy and we want our smoke to have a little bit of wisp like an energy flare. So to add that wispy texture, we're going to use energy ball. So let's drag energy ball number 6 here and then drag the timing of our energy ball because we only want the part where the ball is fully formed and then position our energy ball near the edge of our actress. Basically, we are borrowing the flare of the energy ball as our smoke wisp. Okay, looking great, but our wisp is moving way too quickly. So let's right click and time stretch and slow it down by 250%. And now we have our energy ball moving a bit slower. However, it has become jittery because we are really stretching the limits of its frame rates. So let's smooth out our slow motion, click toggle switch, and let's go to the frame blending box here for our energy ball layer. Click it and click it again until we have the arrow symbol in the box. And now we have a smooth slow motion. Now I want to duplicate it and once again populate our shot with the energy ball. Don't worry about the color of the energy ball because we only care about its luminance. And then maybe add another energy ball to add more variations to the wispy. And perfect, we have our smoke layer effects. Next, we are going to use this smoke to drive a luminance mat for our actress layer. So let's select all the elements, including the tracking null and pre-compose them and then toggle switch and turn the track mat of our actress layer to luma mat towards the smoke precon. Now we have our actress transparency being matted based on the luminance of our smoke, making it look see-through like a ghost. Now if we zoom here, we see that we are missing our smoke wisp. That is because those smoke wisps are going outside the boundary of our actress layer, and there's no pixel on that outside area. So to bring back the wisps, we want to extend the edges of our actress. So let's pre-comp our actress layer, 
turn the track mat to luma mat and get inside the actress precom and then we want to duplicate our actress layer put the duplicate at the bottom and then add fast blur set it to horizontal and increase the blur up high and here we have our pixels stretched out to the side filling in the outside boundaries of our actress and then let's add some curve change the channel to alpha and increase the dark point really high to solidify our blur into a solid surface. Next, I want our actress to blend a little bit more with the background. And since this shot is the rotoscope, I can just go to the mask and reduce the expansion a bit and then increase the feather to make it merge to the background. Then let's extend the pixels vertically, add another fast blur, and this time we're going to set it to vertical and increase it just a touch. Now, if we go outside the main comp, we can see that our smoke wisps are coming back. Next, we're going to make our actress to be a bit more ghost-like. So let's select both the smoke and our actress pre-comp and pre-compose both. And then turn the blending mode to screen. Boom. Now what's happening here is that the darker area of our pre-comp, like the hair and the shadow area, is becoming more transparent while the brighter area like the shirt remains. And then I want to add a curve and create a contrast by pulling in the top area of the curve while pulling the lower area. That way the darker area of the ghost is a bit more transparent because it has become darker while the bright area is more pronounced because it has become brighter. And then next let's add some glow effects, set the threshold to 6, radius to 260, and lower the intensity to 0.3. And then let's colorize this by adding tint and change the white color to blue to make it more ghost-like. And then reduce the amount just a bit so it's not too saturated. And then adjust the curve a bit more and we have our ghost effects. Now, the final step is just doing a minor adjustment to our effects. A fun trick to do when you are doing final adjustment to a VFX shot is to click on the panel lock button of the final composition. That way, when we go to another composition, After Effects will create another panel window of that other comp while locking the previous comp in the monitor, allowing us to see both compositions simultaneously. So you don't have to go back and forth to check. A minor adjustment I did for the effects was adding a little bit more solid shape to our ghost. So I went to the actress pre-comp copy the rotoscope layer of the actress, and then go to the smoke pre-comp and paste it there. Add a fill effects to the layer, change the color to white, and here you can see how it makes the silhouette of our actress a bit more opaque in the final result. And then in the ghost pre-comp, what I also did was duplicating the smoke pre-comp and put it below everything, and then enable it, and then turn it to screen, and now we have our smoke wisps a bit more pronounced. And then let's reduce the opacity really low. And there we go. Add a little bit of color grading to the entire shot. And that was how to create a ghost effects in five simple steps. Once again, if you want to purchase the assets that I used in this tutorial, you can check out our website at actionvfx.com. At ActionVFX, we provide high quality VFX assets for your VFX needs. We have fire, explosions, energy, and many, many others. You can also sign up for our Action VFX subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. And see you next time. Bye-bye.